after the 2019 season where we saw Dalila Muhammad break the world record on two occasions, ending the season with her first world championship title, holding off Sydney McLaughlin, we knew that the 2021 Olympic year would prove to be just as exciting. This year did not disappoint, with McLaughlin breaking 52 seconds for the first time in the history of the event, later joined by Muhammad as they both broke the world record on their way to Tokyo gold and silver. But in winning that Olympic silver medal, Dalila Muhammad quietly became arguably the greatest of all time. So let's take a look back at how Dalila Muhammad became the greatest women's 400 meter hurdler in the history of the event. If we look back at her career, we can see that she didn't have the typical trajectory to the success that she has now. Now, Muhammad won the gold medal at the 2007 World Youth Championships and went on to attend the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. In her freshman year, she finished third place at the 2009 NCAA Championships. This would be her best finish at NCAAs though, as she would only manage a best of seventh and fifth at the 2011 and 2012 NCAA Finals respectively. Along with not making the 2012 US Olympic team, this likely kept her under the radar and out of the conversation a bit, but she soon moved to train with the Olympic silver medalist Lashinda Demas, and in 2013, won the US Championships in 53.83 seconds, which was a 12th best American time in history at the time. Soon after, she would go on to the Moscow World Championships that year to win a silver medal in the 400 meter hurdles, joining teammate Lashinda Demas, who won the bronze medal behind her. Over the next two years, she unfortunately dealt with injuries that prevented her from properly competing, eventually missing the 2015 World Championships. In early 2016 though, she moved to begin training with coach Lawrence Johnson and her trajectory completely changed. Muhammad won the Olympic trials that year, running 52.88 seconds, making her the 13th best performer in the history of the 400 meter hurdles at that point. She would eventually go on to win the Olympic gold medal in Rio de Janeiro later that year, making her the first American woman in history to win the Olympic gold in the 400 meter hurdles. She wasn't done yet though. The 2017 USA Championships proved to be one of the best races in history, led by Dalila Muhammad, improving her personal best to 52.64 seconds, taking the win and making her number six all time in the event. Though she didn't win gold, she did earn a silver medal at the 2017 London World Championships, just behind teammate Corey Carter, also from the US. Now, Muhammad followed up her 2017 success early on in 2019 by improving her flat speed with personal bests in the 200 and 400 meters. Then, enter the 2019 USA Championships where she put it all on the line. Pressing from start to finish, Muhammad won in 52.20 seconds, breaking the world record that stood for 16 years and setting herself up as the clear favorite for the World Championship gold. And she did not disappoint. At the 2019 Doha World Championships, Muhammad would go on to win her first World Championship title, but also improving her world record to 52.16 seconds. Cindy McLaughlin was close behind, running 52.23 seconds, faster than the previous world record before Muhammad broke it. Now, in 2021, after a tough road to the Olympic trials, including injury and sickness, Muhammad was able to secure her spot on the Olympic team, running 52.42 seconds, which was her third fastest performance ever, only behind her two world record runs from 2019. But she finished second place to Sydney McLaughlin, who ended up breaking Muhammad's world record with a time of 51.90 seconds, the first time any woman had ever broken 52 seconds in the event. But at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, Muhammad again met the moment. Sydney McLaughlin ran away with the gold medal in a new world record again of 51.46 seconds. But Muhammad was just behind. She led off the 10th hurdle, just getting surpassed by McLaughlin, but smashed her personal best, also faster than the old world record, hitting a time of 51.58 seconds, earning that silver medal and her second time medaling at the Olympic Games. So with all of that, let's take a look at what Dalila Muhammad has accomplished in her 400 meter hurdle career and how it compares to some other women in history. Now let's start off with the Olympic Games. Dalila Muhammad has won two Olympic medals over the course of her career, one gold in Rio 2016 and one silver in Tokyo 2021. 
The only other woman in history to win more than one Olympic medal was Dionne Hemmings from Jamaica, with a gold in 1996 and a silver in 2000. Aside from these two ladies, all other women who have medaled in the 400 meter hurdles have only won a single medal, whether that's gold, silver, or bronze. So this really separates Mohammed and Hemmings from the rest of the ladies. Moving over to the World Championships, Dalila Muhammad has won three World Championship medals, a gold in 2019 in Doha, plus two silvers, Moscow 2013 and London 2017. This is only behind two women who have won four medals each, Yulia Pachankina who won gold in 2005, two silvers in 2001 and 2007, as well as a bronze in 2003. Also, Lashinda Demis has won four World Championship medals with a gold in 2011, silver in 2005 and 2009, and bronze in 2013. Mohammed is also equal to two other women who also won three World Championship medals, Nezed Bedouin who won two golds in 97 and 2001, as well as a silver in 1999. Dion Hemmings, she also won a silver in 1997, plus two bronze medals in 1995 and 1999. Aside from these five women with four and three medals respectively, all other women have only won two medals or one medal, whether that be gold, silver, bronze at the world championships. Next, let's move over to the all-time marks where Dalila Muhammad has a personal best of 51.58 seconds, which is number two all-time in the event. This is only behind Sydney McLaughlin, who has run 51.46 seconds, of course owning the current world record. But Muhammad is ahead of Femke Bol, who has a best of 52.03 seconds, Yulia Pachankina at 52.34, as well as Shamir Little at 52.39 seconds. So Muhammad slotted again just in that number two spot, not too far behind Sydney McLaughlin with that world record. Moving over, let's take a look at how many times women have broken the 53 second barrier, which has been seen as the gold standard in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Of course, we know in this past year, Muhammad and McLaughlin have taken the event to new heights, breaking the 52 second barrier, but 53 seconds is still impressive. Now, Muhammad has broken the 53 second barrier seven times in her career. This is equal to Sidney McLaughlin, who has also done it seven times in her career, but it surpasses Lashinda Demas, who has done it five times, as well as Kim Batten, who has done it four times. This is also significantly ahead of about five other women who have run sub 53 on three occasions and a couple other women who have done it two times in their career. So Muhammad and McLaughlin really separating themselves from the rest of the ladies in history. Now let's take a look at the top 10 average times. Dalila Muhammad has a top 10 average of 52.65 seconds. This is only behind Sidney McLaughlin who has an average of 52.63 seconds, so barely marginally behind. Lashinda Demas though is way far behind in third place with 52.94 seconds, while Kim Batten comes in at fourth at 53.00 seconds. A couple other ladies who average about 53 seconds or so in the 400 meter hurdles, but again, these four women really separating themselves from the rest of the ladies, averaging at least 53 seconds or better and of course McLaughlin and Muhammad really separating themselves from the rest of the pack here with their 52.63 and 52.65 averages. Finally, let's take a look at the world record and see how many times women have broken it through history. Of course, Dalila Muhammad has broken it on two occasions, running 52.20 seconds and 52.16 seconds, both in the 2019 season. Sydney McLaughlin during the 2021 season ran 51.90 and 51.46 seconds, breaking the world record on both occasions. The only other woman in history to break the world record on two occasions was Marina Stepanova, who has run 53.32 seconds and 52.94 seconds. All other women who have broken the world record have only done it on one occasion in their career. Of course, Yulia Pachankina running 52.34 seconds, Kim Batten running 52.61, and Sally Gunnell running 52.74 seconds. So based on that, though there are some aspects where Muhammad is slightly behind, equal, or ahead of others, looking at a combination of all the factors, in my opinion, Dalila Muhammad currently sits as the greatest 400 meter hurdle runner in women's history. And considering she has a wild card to the 2022 World Championships, and just this year ran a personal best, she still has more to go and does not look to be slowing down. Now, in the next few years, we may see someone like Sydney McLaughlin or Femke Bowl surpass Muhammad as they are much younger and very likely to continue accumulating more medals, times, and records. But currently, Muhammad looks to safely stand in the number one all-time spot. 
So, go in the comments below. Let me know if you think Delilah Muhammad is the greatest women's 400 meter hurdler of all time, or if not, who do you think is the best of all time? And what would Muhammad have to do to move into that number one spot? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.